Okay, so uh, this is Jamuna. You can see my screen, right? Okay, all right. And uh, thank you, ladies. I'll just take a few minutes to quickly run through this. So today, I just want to share with you a little bit about strategic planning and why I thought this was important is most of us have a lot of great ideas, but the key thing actually is how can you take these ideas to the next level? Okay, so bef I mean, um, before we go on, I would just like to know and understand from you all, as entrepreneurs and business owners, what is the biggest challenge that you're having right now? So you can just uh, type in A, B, C, D, A, if you're having financial difficulties to sustain your business, B, if you find it hard to rebrand and come up with a new product or offering, or are you trying to digitalize your product, or do you think confidence is the issue? Can you just share so I get an idea what is your struggle? So you're saying rebranding, some are saying confidence, okay. All right, digitalizing, okay. So I see that there is a mix of all four here. All right, okay, so for those who say confidence, I think you're already doing a great job. You're here, you're learning, and you're trying to build confidence. You're already taking the first, first step, so you're already ahead of the game. That is great. For the others, um, you know, strategic planning is really, really important, and I hope this will be able to help you, whatever struggle that you have. This is actually the time for you to rethink and relook at what you're doing. Okay, so I'll move to the next slide. Um, this is just a graphic. It's not enough to just show up. You have to have a business plan. What this really means is that a lot of people say, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. I work so hard from morning to night. You know, I keep doing a lot of things. I keep calling customers. I keep spending a lot of time doing work for my business, but I don't see any results and I'm stuck. And this is because a lot of us have great ideas and we start doing without taking time to plan and the first step to plan is actually to strategically think about what is it that you are trying to do so to do this it is not complicated it just takes three very very simple steps um, the first thing is before you can even plan is to actually ask yourself what is the why in your business so why is it that your business needs to exist why is it that I need to buy this particular product from you and not from your competitors. So you have to know this answer. So just to give you an idea, very simply, let's just take mama as an example, something that we can all relate to, right? So a mama, their mission is to provide cheap, tasty food for hungry people, whoever they may be. At whatever time when you need food, they are there. So this is their Vision. So the same thing, I'd like you to think about whatever business that you're doing. Why is it that you need to exist? So that's the first question that you need to answer. And then we move into how can we strategically plan to take your business forward? So I did post this on the Facebook group. And you know, I, I know it is a very short notice, but if you have done it, great. If any of you would like to share what you're doing, maybe you can you know, type it or you can unmute yourself and speak. What are you doing? Where are you now? And where is it that you like to be? And what are the things that you're doing so that you can move towards that? Anybody like to share maybe really quickly? You can unmute or you can type if you're shy. Hi, uh, Purita here. Ruvini, just very quickly. Yeah. Um, okay, um, so I, like I said, I've actually managed a business. But something that I've, I think, uh, probably overlooked is actually the diversification of the business. I've been always uh, been um, um, giving out services. So times like this, I think a product uh, would have been something that is a, a good add-on to the business. So that is something that I've learned during this time. So divers diversification of the business. And also how to maximize the digital marketing. Because uh, we see that slowly we are moving towards the digital marketing and online business and all. So how do we bring my business to the digitalization? And how can I see uh, this growing in a different dimension now? 
reaching out to more and more people. So that's that's what I, I, I've been doing and, and I'm working on it now. Lah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Punita, for sharing. So exactly that, that is what we want to do. So the, the first step is actually whether you're already in a business for a long time or you're a totally new entrepreneur with a new idea, this is a great thing for you to do to plan strategically. The first step is actually to do a real self-assessment. So you ask yourself, what are the skills that you have for the idea that you, that you have or for the business that you like to start? What are some of the skill sets that you currently have? If you're already in business for a while, then you want to look at what are some of the things that you're doing well right now. Maybe you have the right team, you have the right product, you are in the right market. All these things, you, you just do a self-assessment of where you are. So that's what the where you are means. The second step is, of course, for you to ask yourself, if you want to grow, you want to go to the next level or you want to do something different, what is it that you like to do? So like what Punita pointed out, she knows now that she should also focus on selling products and she should also focus on you know, promoting herself online and having digital presence. So she knows where she wants to be. Then that brings her to the third step what is it that you must do so that you can reach that goal that you have for yourself so this is where you start planning towards what you want to have so the thing is when you start planning this is when you decide which is the first thing that you need to do the sequence of events and then for the goals that you have set for the for yourself right is it realistic or not if you're doing all the same things you cannot expect different results. So you need to start thinking about what are the kind of things, what are the kind of skills, what are the type of resources that I would need to have in order for me to take my business from where it is now to where I want to be. So you might not have everything. Maybe sometimes you need to upskill. Maybe you need to actually get help from someone else. Maybe you need to start learning something new. Maybe you need to start introducing a new product or new strategy so if you do not take time to strategically think about your business it is not going to help you move forward quickly but you know that is when we start failing it's okay to fail so that's why it's really important to be flexible and every now and then maybe every quarter re-look at your strategy where you are where you want to be and are you doing the right things to get there okay so i hope this will be useful to you and you know you can use these simple three techniques and just remember be flexible and keep revising it. Thank you, Rubini. You're welcome. I'm going to mute myself. So if you have any questions, we can um, you know. Have it totally to yeah. Rubini, can you uh, stop your slides sharing? All right. All right, great, great, great. Okay, thank you so much, Rubini. So what's going to happen on uh, Sunday and on Tuesday would be, we have learned about initial benefit statement. We have learned about features and benefit and uh, the template. So sorry, I'm going to send to you soon. And then today we've learned about three-step strategic planning. So whoever who is ready, you need to come and do a presentation in front of all the ladies. That's going to happen on Sunday and on Tuesday. All right. I will be sure still sharing some tips. But I think I can, you know, open up to maybe about... Uh, three women who can come and uh, uh, share that, all right? So I would send the, maybe, why don't I send you the PowerPoint slides, then you just fill it up, and then just about three slides, then you can present. So we've learned about initial benefit statement, features and benefit, and a three-step strategic planning today. Awesome, isn't it? Where can you get to present when you go for webinar? True or not? Every webinar, people like me, we're talking and talking and talking. But they don't let you to talk. So this is the avenue for you to talk. All right, before we continue with the um, Q&A, we have uh, Anu. Uh, Anu here to give us an announcement on what she is doing during this period of the MCO. Anu is fantastic. You know, uh, she's a homemaker. Uh, she's at home with two lovely daughters with one very tall husband and then uh, she is uh, <laughs> and she is doing all these things so she has something interesting that she's really doing for the well-being of people let's listen to what anu has to say 
Okay, thank you, Jamuna. I mean, uh, I really want to thank you for giving this opportunity first because I really want to reach out to as many people with the information I have. But before I begin, I just have something to tell Punita. Uh, you are messaging only to me in the chat. You need to select everyone. I think you have a lot to say, but it's only coming to me. Select to everyone. Okay. Oh, is it? I, I did select because I'm using the phone today, so it's a little... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that. All oh, right. it's okay. No issue. I can read your message. I'm just wondering because you're talking <laughs> to everyone. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, I'm new to Zoom, but I'm going to try to share my screen because I just have this one poster. Is anything happening? Not yet. Not yet. Ah, okay. Just make sure you don't share something. <clears throat> yes, yes. Okay. Uh, share. Don't give comments, Alvin. Okay. No, it's, nothing is happening. Oh, it is slow. Ah, we can see already. We can, can see? Yeah. Ah, uh, can see. Yeah, but it's a little bit slow. Why don't you talk about it while the screen comes up? Okay. Okay, as I said, I mean, when I was introducing myself, uh, I'm a mental health practitioner. I'm a registered and licensed counsellor in the Kementerian Counselling Malaysia. So uh, what we have done during this COVID uh, crisis, I would like to say is, yes, there's a lot of medical initiatives that is in place to take care of people's physical health, people who have been infected or family members with people who are infected and so on. However, something that maybe I'm not sure whether the rest of you all are aware, I can't see my screen already right now. Can you all see my screen? No, none of us. Ah, we can see already. Okay. Ah. Uh, damn slow. Okay. Okay, so this is another initiative. It's an initiative done by the Women Ministry. Okay, what they have set up is this is a hotline that is available 24 by 7. It's a free hotline. As you see, Stalian Kase with the number here, which provides counseling 24 by 7. And it is provided by registered and licensed counselor like myself. So these are people who've been trained to handle crisis situation, uh, people who are undergoing crisis, people who need help, and so on. I mean, practically looking into the mental health uh, of uh, anyone who's facing crisis right now. So what I like to emphasize here is because a lot of people think that counseling need is basically like deep thought, deep problems, uh, issues that are uh, quite heavy. However, what I like to say is that currently small, small things are also uh, being amplified due to this MCO that we are facing. Just to give you an example, uh, because this is not my client, this was a sharing done in the, in the place that I'm volunteering, which is this. There's this one uh, counselor who received a call pertaining to a person who cannot handle the neighbor who is always forgetting to clear the pet's litter box. And it's causing her to be so stressed and full of anxiety and she's facing a lot of issues. I mean, as simple as that, things that would not matter on uh, previous normal circumstances currently are being amplified because she's stuck at home. So these are the kind of things that people feel like, okay, it's too small to be shared. This is nothing. Uh, just remove that because there's no such thing as normal situation right now. There's a new normal right now and we are actually building towards it. So whenever you are, you are facing a situation that you need someone to talk to or you need someone to reach out or you just need to share. Sometimes it's not about finding solution. It's just about sharing and being open and trying to relate. So this is a venue. It's been created. And please use it. Please share with your friends, uh, family or anyone that you think would, uh, would be needing this additional help. Okay. So that's all. I mean, this is just a very short thing that I wanted to say. Thank you, Anu. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I need to stop the slide sharing now.